I'm Mali Pender, Agriculture Victoria. We are here to run a farm safety workshop for horticulture growers from Punjabi background. The Punjabi farmers are the latest migrants to the horticulture industry in the Golden Valley. Lately, there have been some near mishaps and fatal accidents in the community. So I thought it to arrange some safety workshops to increase their knowledge about safety issues on their farms. Horticulture industry is a very complex industry. On a single property, you can find production operations going on side by side, the packing operation going on, and the cool storage on the same property as well. So there are a different type of uh, movement of the people and the workers. There are tractors, which are there, ladders, there are people are pruning, and the fruit is moving to the shed. At the same time, packing is going on, and truck is being loaded and unloaded and forklifts are moving in the shed. So it's a complex on the same property. It's not a simple operation. That's why safety is the first and most important issue on horticulture properties. This farm safety workshop is targeted at Punjabi fruit growers here. And all the invitees are Punjabi fruit growers in the Kaul Valley. This farm safety workshop will be being arranged by Agriculture Victoria in coordination with VFF's Farm Safety Advisor from the Making Our Farms Safer program. My name is John Darcy and I'm the Senior Farm Safety Advisor for the Victorian Farmers Federation and I'm uh, one part of the uh, Making Our Farm Safer team. The Making Our Farm Safer project, we're funded through to July 2023 and our services are available to all Victorian farmers free of charge. To create a safe workplace, it's important that farmers understand what's legally expected of them and there is a lot to it so they need to understand they can't achieve it overnight, it's a journey. And so uh, when we meet with farmers, we guide them through how to tackle things bit by bit, month by month by month. And that makes it easier for them because uh, it can be overwhelming. There is a lot to do, but they have to do it. Uh, and it's so important that they do. And uh, when we sit down with them and meet with them, they uh, get a, a greater sense of comfort that they uh, understand what they can do over time. And so tackling chemical safety, for example, in a month where they might go and get their safety data sheets, sit down with their workers, make sure they understand how to handle ke chemical safety safely. And then, uh, and then the next month, focus on their machinery, focus on their equipment, and then focus on the manual handling and take those, uh, those chunks and approach them, break them up so it's, a, it's an achievable journey. And then once they've done those things, doing it again. So with, with their services, Farmers can uh, avail themselves of a uh, free safety audit if they have OHS systems in place and we can come and uh, look through their material and see if their, if their material is uh, suitable and fit, fit for purpose for their business. Most of our time is spent guiding them through and consulting with them and we provide a lot of resources free of charge, uh, give them all their templates and also give them the roadmap on uh, how to achieve that and provide six month follow ups for them to uh, help them on the journey. And also we do farm safety walk and talks where farmers can avail their, their farm and a few of their neighbours can come in and we can have a sit down with them as a group and talk about the safety issues of the day as a group and then do a walk around of that farm and show them what's indicative of what we look for when we do a, a typical safety walk. When we meet with employers, we express to them how important it is from a legal point of view that they provide adequate instruction, supervision and training for their employees. And induction for new employees is critically important because that's training and instruction from day one and making sure they take employees through their policy procedures, their safe operating procedures, show them around the hazards on the farm, and make sure that they are ready to go out there and work safely. Really, really important. And then also what we teach farmers is how to consult with their employees about safety. And uh, we take them through how to conduct toolbox meetings. We provide scripts for them that guide them through and, and templates to record their meetings. And that's really important from a legal point of view because employers have a duty to consult with workers about matters that affect their safety, but many don't know how. And that's where it, uh, it's important with the services we're able to provide where we can guide them through that journey. It's, it's really important for farmers that they instill the right culture in their workplace. And with new workers, and for, particularly for throat seas workers, uh, that they assure them that they can come with confidence. That's part of consultation, making sure that they know about issue resolution and um, also telling them don't be afraid, we want to know, we want to hear. If the farmer doesn't know there's a problem, uh, then that's the next hazard waiting for someone else to get hurt. That they instill that confidence and assure the workers that they're not going to be uh, prejudiced, they're not going to be, uh, there's not going to be any repercussions. They want them to come and tell them about things that are not right.